In this video, we are going to install this wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto with a car DVR provided by Jataza for review. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. We have a nice 9-inch IPS touchscreen. On the rear, we have your speaker. We have your front camera, which records at 4K with a wide-angle view of 170 degrees, which you can adjust. And here we have slots for your mounting bracket. You have two mounts to choose from. Your base mount, which you simply slide into place and then push up to lock. And we have your suction cup mount. Push it in and then lock its place. On the top is your power button. We have your rear camera, which records at 1080p with a wide angle view of 170 degrees and a 24 foot cable extension. A couple sets of screws and a couple adhesives. Your aux cable, your power supply with an extra USB port your suction mount base. If you're interested in this product, I'm going to leave the product link in the description below. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and install the rear camera. So we're gonna install this in this cargo van. As you can see, we have a textured layer here. So I've installed the mounting base and we're gonna go ahead and use this suction mount. Then I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the protective covering push it into place after you push it into place go ahead and just lock it into place now you have a strong and sturdy mount next we're gonna go ahead and install the unit then we go ahead and plug in your rear camera once that's plugged in I'll go ahead and clean up the wiring later I plan on just running it down the back then we go ahead and install your power and then we just plug it right in. Now we go ahead and power up the device. And it'll take you straight to your setup. We're gonna go ahead and set this up from the get-go. We're gonna choose our English language. We're gonna go ahead and adjust the date. It's 2024, March 30th. You have the option to choose a 24-hour setup. Now we have your audio output guidance. You have the option to connect to an onboard Bluetooth. This vehicle does not have one, so we're gonna hit no onboard Bluetooth. Next, it's gonna ask if you want to use an aux cable to connect. I don't wanna go that route, so now I'm gonna select not have aux. You also can connect via FM transmitter, which for this vehicle, that's the route I'm going to take. I'll show you how to set that up later in this video. So if I select nothing, it will automatically come out of the speaker in the unit itself. So here is your home screen. On the left panel here, you have your time and your day. You also have your home button. You can control your brightness. It does have auto adjust. It will adjust according to your ambient light. You can adjust your speaker volume and you can turn off the screen. Touch it again to turn it back on. Here we have your DVR. Right now we have your front camera which you can see it's recording, recording at 2K. You can swipe and here is your rear camera. Swipe again, you have a split screen. Front camera here and your rear camera on the right side. And you have your quick menu. You can mute it, lock the video, start and stop recording, and your playback. You can see all the recorded and you can preview the recordings. 
Then we have your camera settings. We'll go through this later in the video. Next, we're gonna go to audio channel. I wanna connect this to the speakers within the car via FM transmitter. So I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna hit FM transmitter. We're gonna turn on our radio here. We're gonna find the free channel. So here I have a free channels, 87.7 FM. We're gonna change this to 87.7 FM. And it's as simple as that. Now everything will be transferred through the speakers. Now we're gonna go ahead and try and connect to Apple CarPlay. We're gonna hit CarPlay and it gives you step-by-step -step connection instructions. On your iPhone, you're gonna go ahead and go on to Bluetooth. Then you're gonna look for the Bluetooth name, which matches the Bluetooth name on the CarPlay. Click on that to pair, and then go ahead and hit pair. We're gonna allow. And now we're connected. So let's test the voice feature. Hey Siri. What's the weather today? Looks like it will be cloudy today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 58 degrees with overnight lows around 41. So remember we connected through FM transmitter. So that sound is coming out through the speakers of the vehicle. Now let's try to connect to Android Auto. We're gonna hit Android Auto. Same thing, we're gonna look for that name and we're gonna pair. We're gonna hit pair and wait for it to pair. Hit continue. Now you're connected to Android Auto. Let's go ahead and test voice control. Okay, Google. What's the weather today? Today in Seattle, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 60 and a low of 40. Right now it's 44 degrees and partly cloudy. And of course, you got your Google Maps. Now let's go ahead and test the call feature. We're gonna hit the call button. And the call feature works perfectly. Next here, we have your playback. This is where you get your files for your recordings. Now we're gonna go ahead and try AirPlay. So on your iPhone, you look for that Wi-Fi. Here it is. We're gonna connect to that. Your password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna join. Once we connect to Wi-Fi, we're gonna hit screen mirroring. Click on that. And now you're all set. You also can Android cast. I couldn't find the app to download. So we'll do that at a later time. We have your driving position. You can choose left hand or right hand driving. You have your resolution. It was defaulted at 2K, we're gonna change that to 4K. We have loop recording. You can change that to one minute or two minutes. You have the option to turn on or off your microphone. You have your G sensor, off, low, medium, or high. If a serious collision occurs, the locked file will not be overwritten by the loop. Here we have your screensaver. You can have it off in 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 180 seconds. Here we have your rear video mirror. You can flip the image by turning it off or on. You can select multiple languages. Here you can download the app to download all your videos. You can format your SD card. 
you can reset to factory settings your startup sound you can turn that on or off and we have your version If you have not done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.